Welcome to The Appliance Show. Jonathan from Curdo's in Westchester County here. The Appliance Dude, indefatigably bringing you all the clear, concise appliance information. We're going to cut through the noise, cut through the dissonance, all of the muck that's hovering our appliance land. We're going to get to the God's honest truth and help you make the proper appliance purchasing decision. Today, I am juiced. We are going to talk about the Wolf E-Series Oven, which sitting right here next to me, could be the greatest value. Do I even want to use the term value with Wolf Appliances? They're so premium, they're so uber. Yes, this is a value because when you see what this is bringing to the table from a feature set, it is going to blow your mind. Let's do it. First, I want to talk about the history of the E-Series Oven, okay? That'll help us place everything in context. The E-Series Oven was probably came out I'd say back God, my four years ago three four between three and five years ago and initially what it was was a builder special it was a piece they took the L series oven kind of stripped it down a little bit changed the look of it completely um, and it was a piece that was to be rolled out and done in volume deals get people into a wolf oven but none at the same price point as buying an L series double or single well what happened was the control panel was very, very different, and the handles. The handle was not a Wolf Sub-Zero handle. It was actually, uh, it kind of resembled, if you've ever seen the Electrolux Icon Designer Series, which has basically disappeared, uh, as best as I can see. Um, it was like a flat ribbon, and very unwolf like and I just, I was never feeling it. We put it on the floor, didn't really do that much business with it. This is a babe now. Absolutely. The reason I love this thing so much is because now in the past when it was almost like it, it just wasn't doing anything on the showroom floor, people are now walking by this piece and it's got the total factor to it. I mean, it's a babe. Um, right now, the one you're looking at right here is the unframed model. This is actually the one that I prefer, um, whereas a framed model, and it's actually below the steam oven, the new steam oven, which you really can't see in, because of the way the camera's set up. But this is an unframed model. So, in an unframed model, you can only get it in the tubular handle still. If you want the pro handle, which will match perfectly if you get a wolf range, you can get them on your sub zeros as well. It's a thicker, thicker handle. You can get that on the framed model. Now let's walk through the feature set of the E-Series ovens. And as we do this, you will see that they are eerily, eerily reminiscent to the L-Series. I mean, they share a lot of traits. That's what I'm talking here. Definitely look at this oven. Okay, does it have the cobalt blue interior? Yes, it does, okay? I mean, this is the, this is the trademark, the hallmark of Wolf Cooking Appliances on the dual fuel and electric side, that sexy blue interior. It doesn't do anything, but it looks damn good, doesn't it? Okay, um, it had self-cleaning. It has uh, dual convection fans only in the double oven up top. It does not have in the double oven, lo the lower oven. The single each oven, if you're getting a double, it has a sliding rack in each oven. If you get a single, it has one, just like the LC. What else? The door, the dampened hinge, soft close, easy close, easy open door, whatever you want to call it. It offers that as well. It has a temperature probe. It has a meat probe. It has this, uh, the staggered lighting is what I call it. You'll notice the lights are not parallel to one another. They are actually st and staggered, so it actually creates uh, better illumination throughout the oven cavity. If you had them both up top, your stuff on the bottom would be uh, in the dark, so to speak. So this uh, it's the same lighting setup as the, um, as the uh, LCs. And it has the very cool stainless door glides. Um, which is like a proprietary wolf thing that run the on the sides of the uh, of the window, and you pull your rack out without even having the ball bearing uh, function. It'll make the uh, the rack will glide out pretty smooth, and it will support the weight of a um, uh, you know your turkey, whatever it may be your larger uh, your larger pieces that you're cooking. And what that does in its essence is you don't need a ball bearing rack below because if you had a ball bearing rack, it's going to be elevated. And what that does is it takes away from your oven capacity because you can't do anything underneath it. This lets the uh, racks basically lay low and that door glide helps it pull it out so it's it's pretty cool and again as you're gaining oven capacity with it so any questions please feel free to hit me if you live in New York City Westchester hey people from Fairfield County Bergen County come down the water's warm we'll take care of you okay so um, please have a wonderful night wonderful weekend any questions you know where to get me